What's going on everyone? Sean from All Things EV here. Man, I didn't have this one on my bingo card for 2023. British Petrol is going to be buying $100 million worth of ultra fast chargers from Tesla. I wanna dive into the press release from BP, pull out some takeaways, and then also add some of my thoughts at the end of the video. I think it's worth noting that this is the first time that Tesla has licensed out their hardware to another company to use. This is all a part of BP's plan to invest up to $100 billion in EV charging across the US by 2030. They currently have more than 27,000 charge points with a goal to roll out more than 100,000 globally by 2030. They say as early as 2024, Tesla chargers will be installed across the BP Pulse network, including at key BP, Amaco, AMPM, and Thornton's branded sites travel centers of America locations, and at BP Pulse's large-scale gigahub charging sites near airports and in major metropolitan areas across the U.S. They say that the first installation sites have been identified in Houston, Phoenix, Los Angeles, Chicago, and Washington, D.C. They continue on to say that Tesla's chargers will also be deployed at select BP Pulse fleet customer depots. And it sounds like one of those fleet customers is actually Hertz. And apparently they made an announcement about the partnership between BP and Hertz earlier this year. This partnership between Hertz and BP was announced on September 27th of 2022. So a little over a year ago, this should allow Hertz easier access to fast charge their electric vehicles that they're renting out to customers. This seems like a, a win, win, win. Tesla wins, Hertz wins, as well as BP. And you gotta give it to Tesla's head of business development there. They've been crushing it this year. It first started with this waterfall, this cascading of large automakers buying into their charging standard, the NACS. Now we've got a major petroleum company investing into Tesla's charging hardware. I've got a feeling that this will be just the first of many large gas station chains to buy into Tesla's hardware. And to be honest, this makes the most sense for Tesla to license out their hardware and or software to gas station brands because there's already a facility, there's already infrastructure there for gas and electric vehicles. This will further help support BP and Hertz's agreement to partner together. BP will be the facilitator of fast charging stalls at Hertz's locations. And as we know, Hertz and Tesla did a deal where Hertz is buying tons of Teslas from them to enable customers to utilize electric vehicles in their fleet across the United States. So overall, I think this is a huge vote of confidence for Tesla's technology. It creates a brand new revenue stream for Tesla if companies like BP and other gas station chains and brands are going to be purchasing their hardware and software. And one of the larger takeaways for me that I haven't seen a lot of other Tesla tubers and Tesla influencers talk about is the significance of one of BP's brand in laying an infrastructure for Tesla's electric semi-truck. BP's Travel Centers of America is a truck stop brand across the United States. If they're doing a partnership where BP is installing Tesla's fast chargers at truck stop, this lays the groundwork to build out the infrastructure for the Tesla semi-truck. I did a little bit of digging into their locations and it appears like they have nearly 300 locations across the US. And in my personal opinion, this is a really smart move by Tesla if they want to accelerate that semi-truck charging network. They need to be where other truckers are at and TA is one of those locations where truckers stop. What I think we could see here on this Tesla semi-truck side is this domino effect where you've got one large brand, TA, who's buying into the installation of these fast chargers for the semi-truck. And you're probably going to hear some more partnerships very, very soon that will help accelerate the ability for companies to purchase Tesla's semi-truck and have a built-out infrastructure for charging wherever they go. What are your thoughts on this news? Was it as surprising to you as it was to me? 
I'd love to hear your feedback in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next video.